Hey everyone, Jason here. Today I'm going to show you how to tie the bowline knot. The bowline, or bow line, is a classic and simple knot used to form a reasonably secure fixed loop at the end of a rope. It's a knot that's easy to tie and untie, and in some ways, more importantly, it's easy to untie even after being subjected to a heavy load. Under load, it doesn't slip or bind, and with no load, it can be untied easily. In my opinion, the bowline is one of the most important three knots for bushcraft and wilderness skills. There are a couple different ways to teach the bowline, or aid in teaching it. For me, one of those ways is to describe to people that the tail end of the rope, you'll make two counterclockwise circles. The first circle makes the loop. Then you make the second circle when you pass the tail end up through your loop, around the standing line, and then back down through the loop. A lot of people will remember the bowline by the little mnemonic used to teach it. It's the rabbit and tree rhyme. First imagine the end of the rope is the rabbit. And where the knot will begin on the standing part, a tree trunk. First the loop is made at the end of the rope which will act as the rabbit's hole. Then the rabbit comes up the hole, goes around the tree from right to left, and then back down the hole. Okay, so let's tie the knot again and I'll talk you through it. Lay the rope across your left hand with the free end hanging down. Then form a small counterclockwise loop in the line in your hand. Bring the free end up and pass it through the loop from the underside. Wrap the line up around the standing line and then back down through the loop. Now tighten the knot by pulling on the free end while holding the standing line. All right, so now we know the classic way of tying the ballon. I'm gonna show you my variation. It ties the exact same knot, but I find it just a little bit faster moving. Okay, so first of all, just take the tail end of your rope and place it between your, your index and your middle finger, and then just hold it in place with your thumb. We're gonna start off the same way by laying the rope across our left hand. Now take your right hand, and with your index and middle fingers leading the way, go over top of the standing line and then scoop down and draw out your small loop. Continue the motion and wrap the line around the standing line and back down through the loop. Now, same as before, just tighten the knot by pulling on the free end while holding the standing line. Okay, so let's see that again. Okay, so we've got the classic bowline and we know how to do it two ways. So let's look at creating a double bowline knot. It's basically the same knot, except what we're gonna do is add two loops. Okay, so just like a classic bowline, lay the rope across our left hand with the free end hanging down and then form a small loop in our hand. Once we have the first loop, just repeat and form a second small loop. Now bring the free end up and pass it through both small loops from the underside. Wrap the line around the standing line and then back down through the two loops. Same as before, tighten the knot by pulling on the free end while holding the standing line. Okay, so let's do that again. The double ballon is basically a classic ballon knot, but with two overhand loops. The extra loop forms a more secure loop than the standard ballon and added strength. The robustness of the double ballon makes it better suited for heavy rigging. Still, in most cases, the classic ballon will do. All right, so now we've got the double ballon and it's a much stronger knot for heavier loads. Still, the classic ballon is likely going to be sufficient for most of our purposes. There's one other variant of the ballon that I'd like to show you, and it's the running ballon. Now, the reason is, I can't tell you how many times I've seen people tie up a perfect ballon to have it in their hand, and then 
feed through their working line in order to make a loop, okay, or a noose. So what I'm gonna do is show you in just one step how we can create a noose out of a ballon so that when you go to tie it up around a tree, it's already there and it's a lot quicker and easier. So this is the running ballon. So this time we're gonna tie a classic ballon. We're gonna create our loop as we have in the past. And then from there, we're gonna take our tail end or our working end and we're gonna run it behind our standing line. And then from there, we're gonna feed it up through the loop, around the back of the line, and then back down through the loop and tighten it off. All right, so there you go. Several variations on how to tie the bowline bowline. Well, regardless of how you're gonna pronounce it, it's a great knot, it's classic, easy to tie, easy to untie. You'll find a lot of uses for it out on the field. Thanks for watching.